You're sitting in the courtroom, you're about to have the trial, and you have no idea what's going to happen. Hi, my name is Vince Davis. I'm an attorney in California, and I'm an expert in CPS and DCFS cases. Come with me, and I'll let you know generally what's supposed to happen during your trial. Whenever you have a trial in the juvenile court, you're entitled to put on evidence. You're entitled to have your attorney cross-examine the witnesses and the other evidence that's presented by the county's attorney, uh, that's presented by the social worker's attorney, the minor's attorney, or any other attorney in the case. Generally, the children have an attorney, each parent has an attorney, and the social worker has an attorney. Generally, in every case, in every type of hearing, except for a 3D8 petition, the county has the burden of proving that you're a risk or a danger to the child. So generally, the county starts first with introducing evidence and calling witnesses to the stand. Then it's usually the minor's attorney and then usually the other parent's attorney. And I always try to go last in that order of presentation of evidence. There may be some advantages that you have by going last because you get to hear all of the other witnesses and evidence that are going to be used uh, you know, against your client. After that, you know, each attorney is given the opportunity to give a closing statement. It's not always required. It's never required and it's rarely done, but in some cases, judges would like to have closing statements. Generally, as a defense attorney, I don't give an opening statement in a juvenile dependency case, mainly because it alerts and telegraphs my defenses to the case, to the other side. Um, before I have to present my case. A lot of times I go to trial and people are wondering, well, what's Davis gonna do in this case? Well, I don't have to tell you what I'm gonna do and I can sit back and wait as the respondent or slash the defendant in the case representing one of the parents. But I do give, on occasion, closing arguments. And I try to summarize all the evidence in favor of my client so that we will have the best chance to win in the case. Now, you're probably watching this because you have questions about your case, your CPS or your DCFS case. I'm an expert in this area of law in California, and if you have questions, I'd love to give you answers. Give me a call at 888-888-6582. I answer questions like this every day. Thanks for watching this video, and have a good rest of the day.